Today, we're going to talk about episode 4 of Ursa Yasha 2022. Ah, <laughs> Well, uh, what can I do? Uh, the original was a classic. So, keep on watching. This is actually the first time we are going to review an episode of this reboot. So, first order of business, the thumbnail. Like the title of this video says, Kurama has checked in. <laughs> uh, honestly, uh, this is a good choice for a thumbnail because it devoted an entire episode in introducing a major character in the storyline, si Kurama. Her mere entrance into this reboot has further complicated the life of Ataru. <laughs> Eh, alam mo naman natin lahat na si Ataro ay isang manya. Okay? Manya is to. But he hates being around love. I would be an idiot if I did not make this a thumbnail. Okay? Yun, yun lang yun. Yun lang yun, guys. So, let's get into the nitty gritty of the episode now. Face! For the first time in this reboot, single story lang ang episode. And, Rightfully so, because they're going to, well, because they introduced a major character here. Kasi kung gagawin yung two-story format ito, no, hindi ano eh, hindi ganun kalaki yung magiging, hindi, hindi ganun katindi yung magiging dating sa audience kung ito two-story format nila ito. No, I, I don't see that happening. Especially, especially for this anime. Urusai Yatsura. Okay, the original was a classic, and uh, I'm very sure Divi Production is um is being careful in how they're on how they're rebooting this. I got no complaints about the pacing of the episode. Because bottom line, you need a rather fast pacing if you want to um if you want to if you want to really impart the comic element of this anime, especially in this episode. Because <laughs> Imposible hindi ka matawa, alright? Imposible hindi ka matawa sa isang episode ng Uro sa Yatsura. You really need to devote an entire episode to to introduce a um, a major character. In, talagang hindi pa yung uh, yung pacing na pang two story format dito. No, no can do. Kung hindi, ma, the current generation of anime fans won't uh, won't fully grasp how much of a major character Kurama is to the storyline. Flow on! The first gear shift here is obviously the opening scene with... Ito nga eh. Umira na naman ang pagkapanyakis ni Ataru. Siya mismo ang humalik kay Kurama para magising ito. No brainer of a gear shift there, folks, because that particular sequence triggered the entire episode. Did I explain it further? Second gear shift was when what? Lum uh, met up with uh, with Kurama's servants, yung elders ay mga malilit na crow, okay? To um to possibly work out a deal between them para medyo malayo si Ataru at tuluyan ang ilapit si Mendo kay Kurama as his as uh, as Kurama's groom. I found this. Uh, gearship profound. Because this, oh, this particular gearship can show you how cold and calculating Lum can be. All right. So, kung baga ganong ganon sa passionate about Ataru. Being a princess, yeah, she has these tendencies to um to do some backdoor backdoor politicking. Yeah, that's that's probably the perfect term for it. And this gear ship will show you why she's the princess. <laughs> she's not to be screwed with. Final gear ship was, wow, probably the funniest moment in the episode where Ataru exposes Mendo's weakness to Orama. It's a no-brainer of a gear ship, folks. Because this goes to show you how, how Ataru, uh, how much Ataru hates Mendo. This gearship will also tell you that, um, yeah, umiro na naman ang pagkamanyakis niya rito, alright? Kasi kung sige talaga masoro si Kurame, sexy, alright? 
She's one hot chick. This is the issues that I saw, guys. Pwede nyo nang panoorin lang ang tatlong gearships na to to fully understand the episode. Pero, why do that? Watch the whole episode to get your laughs! Alright? Watch the whole episode! No. Don't be lazy! Plot likes! What can I say? Eh? The, the, the episode followed only one continuity, which is... Um, Uh, Kurama's initial presence in the anime, uh, or particularly in this reboot. No, so no side stories or backstories here. Eh, oh, I don't know if you can call that a backstory sequence. Yung parang pinakita na parang na uh, yung parang video video projector screen. Parang they they went back to the history of their clan. No, that that would be an explainer sequence. Kaya. Malinis ang plot, guys. It's a plot word that came. Would you um? Would you get? Would you get your own battle of blacks in this episode? I don't think so. What? Well, I got my fill of blacks. And it's and it's all due to its clean plot, right? Shut up now, oh, about the plot. So face flow and plot. They all came together for this episode, folks. Proving again that, well, David Production is uh, doing a fine job so far in rebooting this classic anime. So, Urosei Yatsura 2022, episode 4, no brainer. Hmm. Kudamsa! Need I say more, guys, about this episode? I'm pretty excited because uh, this is the first time we're going, we're, 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 we're actually reviewing this anime. Right? First time to review it for the critics out. And it has been in the roster, well, it's been in the roster for quite some time now. <laughs> so, what are we gonna do now? Watch the next review. So again, Orosei Yatsura 2022, episode 4. You damn it!